Welcome to my channel, Let's Talk. Let's talk about Danaea Jackson and what's been going on with her. Danaea is married to Derek Jackson, relationship guru. And that's fine. The problem I'm having with the backlash is that there's a lot of comment about her leaving her husband. I think what's wrong is that you commenters or commentators, you are not taking into consideration that she is a Christian. As a Christian, she has the right to stay with her husband. She has the right to, to uh, forgive him his transgressions and remain with him. That is her choice. She has a right to her choice. Um, not only that, to try to force a wife who wants to stay with her husband, both of them practicing Christianity, Christianity is ridiculous. Outside of any physical abuse or, um, any act that, that actually causes her harm bodily, it is her right to decide whether she wants to stay with him um, or not. Who knows if her, she, as a righteous wife, will sanctify her husband. But for you people who are not experts in marriage, who are not experts in relationships, who do not understand the ebb and flow of relationships and to just come not knowing her. You probably haven't even been in a relationship more than five years. It's constant with the same person or in a polygamous relationship with the, several people married for five or more years, consistently and committed. She made a commitment to her husband, to God, to her community and she has the right to decide that she wants to keep that um, commitment. Yes, she may need counseling. That's a possibility. It's a possibility she has a syndrome. It's a possibility. Lots of things are possibilities when it comes to humans and their relationship with their significant others. But this is not just a significant other. This is not just a lover. This is someone that she is married to. That you people are sitting there making judgment, unfounded judgment calls about her life, her relationship with her husband. It may be important for her to seek counseling therapy of some sort, of some level. Yes, that's true. Considering the conditions that we're all living under colonization, we all can use therapy. But nonetheless, what I am here to respond to is the constant leave him, leave him, leave him, or... Um, uh, he is doing this and he's doing, this is not me defending him. I am defending my sister's right to choice. Even if it's not the best choice, it is her right to make it. It is her right to live through her choice and learn from her experience in living through her choice, but bashing her emotionally or psychologically, mentally, you are not doing anything better, nothing better. You can't say you have her best interest at heart and you're name calling, nitpicking about insignificant things within this situation. I implore you to leave this woman alone in her relationship for her to come to the realization as to whether she wants to continue or whether she wants to end it. That is her choice. That's between her and 
her God. Not only this, that would have significant impact in her quality of life. How many of you even think about that? Some of you lose a, a partner and you fall apart. You don't want to live. You want to commit suicide. But here you are trying to give advice to a sister that's a Christian. Are you, are you going to take and buy her a house? Are you going to be the one to take care of her children and put them through school or education or counseling or whatever? Are you going to be the one? Are you going to be the one who's going to feed her, clothe her, shelter her and her child or children? If you are not going to do that, you should close your lips together and keep them closed. You don't have a right to give unqualified opinions. You, you may say, oh, I have a right to give my opinion. Give your opinion. Give it. Be careful. That very opinion don't take you to Hades. Because who you are directing this to is a married woman. Some of you made comments about uh, she should go commit adultery. Are you insane? Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Because you don't understand the requirements of marriage, the sanctity of marriage, even through the trials and tribulations. You don't understand that. This is a commitment that you make, not only of yourself, but with God. Let that lady rest. If you don't have anything good to tell her, to help her in her walk, in her tribulation, with her husband, with their God, it is best that you close your lips. Peace and blessings. I will be praying for you, sister, Denea Jackson, you and your family and your husband, that God be glorified through whatever you do in your decision making. Peace and blessings, fam. Oh, yes, fam. Let me say one more thing about um, Denea Jackson. The one thing I wanted to add is, we all have parents. We do not know what our parents went through. We don't know their relationship. We don't know. We don't know what our mom did. We don't know what our father did. We don't know what, what they endured with each other. If you sit there and think that your parents were perfect, you're living a lie in your own mind. Parents who've been married all their life, parents who uh, passed on with the same spouse, married, living in the same household, raising children together, everybody see them together. We do not know what our parents have done. So before you open your mouth to condemn, judge, criticize, and pass some kind of statement on someone else, consider your own parents. Okay? I'm not saying if you would say that to your parents, that gives you the right to say it to Denea. What I'm saying is consider, especially if they've been married more than 20 years, they must have endured quite a bit with each other. Let Denea make her own decision. All right, fam. I'm done. Peace and blessings.